Professor Elvin Gadd, more commonly known as E. Gadd, is an inventor in the Mario universe, and he has appeared in many games. His first in-universe appearance is in the game Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, where he reveals his new invention to the Mushroom Kingdom, a time machine, and his three volunteers, Princess Peach, Toriko, and Toadbert, set on the first trip in the machine. When the machine returns, Junior Shroom, a green-like alien creature, emerges from it, and the others are nowhere to be found. The Mario Bros defeat and capture the green-like creature, so Egad can study him. Later, the brothers find a time hole that Luigi falls into and Mario goes to save him. Then, in the past, Mario and Luigi find their baby counterparts. And after the four stumble upon Egad's original lab in Flomp's volcano, while studying with Flomp's, a volcano erupts. And Egad is forced to relocate because the eruption destroyed his lab. He talks about how he would like to go study ghosts and how he would like to set up a lab at the edge of Boo Woods for paranormal research. In order to afford moving to Boo Woods, he starts a cafe franchise called Star Beans Cafe, as seen in Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga. Now to Luigi's Mansion. Egad saves Luigi from some ghosts and gives Luigi a couple of his inventions the Poltergeist 3000 and the Game Boy Horror, to help him find his brother. The Poltergeist 3000 allows Luigi to capture ghosts and expel different elements, like fire, water, and ice. The Game Boy Horror allows Luigi and Egad to communicate throughout the mansion, and it also stores data from what Luigi has collected, and also has the map of the mansion. We later see him in Super Star Saga with the modified Poltergeist 3000, now called the Super Poltergeist 3001 with the main change being that it's bigger, so it's now rideable. Egad helps the brothers by giving them items when they drink at his cafe. Next, while not seeing him, he has given Luigi the Poltergeist 4000, which is a card that Luigi uses in Mario Kart DS. He also created the Flood Pack, which Mario finds during the events of Super Mario Sunshine. Also during that game, Bowser Jr. says that he got his magic paintbrush from a strange old man in a white coat, and Flood is surprised by this. Though Junior claims Egad gifted the paintbrush to him, as we can see, Flood and the magic paintbrush both have the Gad Science Inc. logo on it, it can be assumed that Bowser Jr. might have stolen the paintbrush from Egad. A few years later, after the events of Luigi's Mansion, we meet Egad again in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon where he now lives at Evershade Valley. He moved there after learning that apparently the ghosts were friendlier there. He couldn't wait to start studying the ghosts, so he quickly set up a lab in Gumi Manor and in the bunker nearby. In Evershade Valley, there are five mansions, so Egad set up camp in one of them and then sent his four toad assistants to each mansion. The ghosts initially are happy to help Egad and the toads with their research, but then King Boo appears and destroys the Dark Moon. The Dark Moon, which keeps all the ghosts peaceful, now is destroyed so they are running rampant. So now, with the wild ghosts running everywhere, destroying all of Egad's inventions, he is forced to live and stay in the bunker to stay safe. He then enlists the help of Luigi and gives him multiple new inventions. The Poltergust 5000, which now has a strobe light, which can temporarily stun the ghosts. The Pixelator, which can transport Luigi through all the mansions and the bunker, the dual screen, which they use to communicate, and the dark light device, which, when activated, allows Luigi to reveal invisible objects. He doesn't leave the bunker until King Boo is defeated and is revealed that Egad is actually responsible for the escape of King Boo due to him selling the portrait that King Boo was in. Egad returns in Luigi's Mansion 3. A ghost named Helen gravely tricks him into going to the last resort, which is a hotel and the main setting of the game. He's trapped in a painting, much like Mario is in the original and King Boo is in Dark Moon. Also, Egad's collection of ghosts is now free, which includes King Boo. But in the end, Luigi saves him by borrowing the Poltergust G00 from his car. At first wanting to leave, Egad is persuaded into staying by Luigi, so they can save the rest of Luigi's friends who are trapped in the hotel. Egad sets up a makeshift lab in the basement of the hotel, then sends Luigi off to save his friends, and gives him a virtual boo for them to communicate, which 
like all the other communication devices that they use, it resembles another one of Nintendo's handhelds. He later sends Luigi to help Luigi with his adventure. Near the end of the game, King Boo attacks the lab and traps Egad and everyone that Luigi has saved in a painting. Luigi, being the great guy he is, saves everyone and captures King Boo, and also offers to rebuild the last resort hotel. Huh. Luigi's a way better guy than Egad is. I should be talking about him instead. Anyways, after the hotel is rebuilt, Egad stays behind with the ghost and Luigi, and everybody else leaves. And that is the Egad story so far. He's always been a very compelling character to me, and rightfully so. Although he only appears in a handful of games, he's always had a presence in the Mushroom Kingdom, with many of his inventions being in many different games, like Mario Party 1-7, through Mario Kart DS and some of the arcade titles, and even multiple Smash Bros. games. Professor Elvin Gad. He's one of those characters that it'd be really interesting to get a game about him, like maybe an inventing game where you have many different options of things that you could invent, or you could upgrade stuff, like you could upgrade the Flood Pack with a bunch of new custom things, or a new Poltergust. I think that'd be super cool, but I think it could work better as a DLC for Luigi's Mansion 3, like a minigame. Or not. I don't know.